Hey you welcome. In this video I will share with you how you can generate high quality and photorealistic images just like this for free. Now this particular tool that I'm about to share with you will generate images that matches with Mid Journey. I'm very sure you know Mid Journey, one of the best text to image AI tool. Now there is a new AI tool called Flux. Now this Flux is currently the best state-of-the-art text-to-image AI tool that we currently have. So it was released earlier this month, that was August 1, by Black Forest Lab, the same company behind Stable Diffusion. This is actually one of the first or foremost AI model for generating images. Now, these are some of the images generated with these vlogs I'm talking about. You can see how photorealistic they are. And I want to show you how you can also do the same. So here is the thing. Vlogs currently have three different versions, right? Uh, the Schnell, the Dev, and the Pro. Now, for you to access this easily, I have to create an interface on Glyph. So Glyph is a platform where you can build um, AI applications. So I created this, but then at the back end, it is running on the Flux AI model. I don't want to bore you with the tech stack now. I will see, uh, come back to that. But if you want to use this, just go to adelicasummit.com forward slash Flux. Now the interesting part is it is totally free. Okay, so let's try out our first prompt. Let's see. So here is the thing. If you have always used some free ai tool generator the thing is many of them have limitation like limited access but this one that i'm sharing with you you have 100 runs on a daily basis now if you are generating 100 images in a day that is actually a lot and the difference between this and other ai tool even though they are free is that this gives you high quality and very realistic output you can see look at this amazing uh image can you see just enter a basic textual prompt now at the back end i'll still explain the details of the back end anyway so at the back end there is also a prompt enhancer even if it is a basic prompt there is um, a step in the workflow that helps you enhance your prompt so you can get the best output the best image generation so i'll not be able to like can you see these guys i'll not be able to like do many iterations now another interesting part about so i'm just trying another uh, prompt a chimpanzee proudly holding up a colorful now another interesting part about uh this flux model is the text you know when you are trying to use other tools like mid journey dali free they are not always good with text but this is up to perfect or almost perfect with text you see the content uh, the image to generate we have the correct spelling of the text you have provided can you see content zilla just like we described here let's do this a young black man in his early 30s wearing a white hoodie with Jenny Beat inscribed in a studio. So let's see what it comes up with. So guys, as I've said, uh, this is free to use. Just go to adelicasummit.com forward slash flux. At least for now, it is free to use. And the crazy part is just go there, uh, sign in and start using. You don't need to do any setup. Just sign in, start using. You can see Jenny Beat, guys. Look at this. See how realistic the images look at the inscription that i said she used jenny beat so jenny beat is my head tech company you see let's say you sell dresses you don't need a model anymore so i will share with you the workflow so in case you want to also create yours i will share with you how you can do that so all you need to do is go to glyph.app uh, i'll just show you briefly so guys look at what it generated so i'm just trying to show you that it can generate text like text-based content it can and so many other these are some of my generations can you see look at this guys it looks very realistic 
very very realistic so you can play around with this all right so let me share with you what i intend to share so for example you want to create yours all you need to do is click on build so here is the process or the workflow we have the input so when you click on this plus you see text input so you'll be able to include a text field where people or your users can enter their prompt right and what you have here is the variable where the value the user enters will be stored i don't want to sound techy but i hope you you get what i'm saying and the workflow is very very visual and easy to understand right so once you have that now i personally just added another step which is a text generator llm so once the user enters their basic prompt my llm helps me refine the prompt to make it something more detailed you understand so that is different between my own flow generator and others and once you have that then the image will be generated so this is this is um the image like you can see the image generator so it's just like a bunch of tools stacked together now for this llm i'm using gpt4 i tested oh this is gpt4 oh oh it should be gpt4 zero can you imagine no wonder the output is not okay so <laughs> that's aside so there is also cloud 3.5 you see wow that must have been a mistake which means the output ought to even be better in case you want to create yours now the image size i've chosen is square square hg1 ratio 1 so you can decide to do landscape portrait that's what i'm trying to show you this so you can select uh the dimension you want to use and lastly the image generation model this is the flux pro flux dev so you just select the one you intend to use all right so let's generate this again now all i need to do is paste this is my basic prompt right now i want to show you the iteration looking at this you will see there is no output yet right so when we click on run this glyph it is running now it is enhancing the prompt now you see this has changed from no output yet to this prompt can you see so it has already refined the prompt for us so this was the initial prompt a photorealistic portrait of a young black woman now this is the enhanced prompt and i hope you understand so it is uh gpt40 in the background that is helping us do that and once we have that it outputs the image now you can see the difference right you can see the difference from this to the previous one that we had but i hope you like this try it out and uh, yeah just enjoy create as many images you want to create so for now it is free i don't know if it will change but for now flux is free to use and glyph itself is free to use check it out and uh, drop a comment share with your friends and uh, yeah let me know how it goes now let me do one more iteration let's do something different so i'll paste the prompt and let's a close-up of a vibrant red rose with dew droplets on its petals set against a dark blood background so let's see what it comes up with meanwhile guys if you like this ai tool just love click this love you can see this is amazing guys look at look at how realistic the image is look at this is just awesome right awesome now once you are done you can just click on download i hope um, you find this interesting i just had to share this with you all i want you to stay updated with everything ai that will be all for now if you love this video please do well to like it drop a comment and also share with your friends your family and community members and i will see you in my next video bye for now